Hello, welcome to another session. In this session, I have a talk about another type of biogeochemical cycle that is the phosphorus cycle. Such phosphorus cycle, it is slightly different from our previous cycle. These are the carbon cycle and the oxygen cycle. In case of carbon cycle, in case of oxygen cycle, the main reservoir of oxygen and the carbon is the atmosphere or the air. But the phosphorus, the main reservoir of phosphorus, which is the soil or the rock or the lithosphere or the earth crust, that's why the phosphorus cycle also known as the sedimentary cycle. Such phosphorus is made available in our earth crust. They are present in our earth in a sedimentation form. That's why this cycle is known as the sedimentary cycle. Now come to the biogeochemical cycle, the meaning of phosphorus cycle. As you all know that the biogeochemical cycle, any chemical or the any nutrient which move from abiotic system to biotic system and again from biotic system to abiotic system and which constitute the cyclical form or the cycle which is known as the biogeochemical cycle. Phosphorus, it is also important nutrient for human animals or the plants they absorb or they need the phosphorus from the nature. The cyclical movement of phosphorus from abiotic system to biotic system and from biotic system to abiotic system which constitute the phosphorus cycle. Suppose that the, this is the phosphorus cycle and the idea is the cyclical movement of phosphorus from abiotic system to biotic system and from biotic system to abiotic system which constitute the cyclical movement or the cycle which is known as the phosphorus cycle. And how such phosphorus enter into biotic system and how such phosphorus enter into abiotic system. How phosphorus enter into biotic system and how phosphorus enter into abiotic system. There are several methods by which phosphorus enter into abiotic system and there are only one method through which phosphorus enter into biotic system. The phosphorus actually enter into biotic system by the absorption or by the process through absorption by plants. Plant actually absorb the phosphate ion which is available in soil or water and some of the phosphate ion which is available in sea water and such phosphate ion directly absorbed by sea animals or the marine animals. But the main region, the plants, those directly absorb phosphate ion from soil. So this is the, suppose that this is the one important media through which phosphate ion enters into biotic system. And there are several methods through which phosphorus comes out from plant body and from animal body. So there are the several methods through which phosphate enter into abiotic system. So let's start the phosphorus cycle. So this is the phosphorus cycle and the this portion, this is the this portion, the above portion, this is the abiotic system. Suppose that this is the abiotic system and the lower portion, this is the biotic system. And there is the cyclical movement of phosphate from abiotic system to biotic system and which constitute phosphorus cycle. The main reservoir of the phosphorus that is the rocks or the lithosphere and by the weathering by the using of such rocks now the phosphorus is made available in soil as well as in sea water in a ionic form. So the ionic phosphate now available in sea water as well as soil. The plant absorb ionic phosphate and incorporated into protoplasmic element like DNA, like RNA, ADP, ATP, GDP, GTP, 
एन ए डी एच फसफोलिपिड फसफो लिपिड्स एटसेट्रा द मेन रिजर्वर ऑफ फसफरस विच इज द फसफेट रॉक आफ्टर द वेदरिंग और द इरोजन ऑफ सच रॉक्स और द फसफेट रॉक्स नाउ द फसफरस विच इज कन्वर्ट इन टू फॉसफेट आयन एंड मेड अवेलेबल इन टू सॉयल एंड सी वाटर एंड सच आयोनिक फसफेट विच इज एब्जर्व बाय प्लांट्स एंड इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन टू डिफरेंट प्रोटोप्लाज्मिक एलिमेंट्स एंड फ्रॉम सच प्लांट सच फसफरस और द फसफेट आयन ट्रांसफर टू एनिमल और हर्बिभोरस After the death of animals or phosphorus, some amount of phosphorus which is locked into the bones and the teeth of the animals. After death of animals, bone and teeth, bottom of the sea, which forms sedimentary rock by the process of sedimentation, and sedimentary rocks again which form the phosphate rock, and after weathering or by the process of weathering and the erosion again. the phosphorus which is available for plants and the animal this is the cyclical movement and here let's see after the death of plants and the animals the body of plant or the tissue of plants and the animals which contain some of the phosphorus after death of the plants as well as animals the dead body of plants and the animals which is decomposed by bacteria and which release फॉस्फेट आयन और फॉस्फेट टू द सॉइल और द सी वाटर इन केस ऑफ सी एंड द सम ऑफ द फॉस्फोरस व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन द टिश्यू ऑफ द प्लांट बॉडी बाय द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्लांट बाय द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट वुड व्हिच रिलीज द फॉस्फेट आयन इनटू सॉइल एंड द एक्सेस अमाउंट द एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ phosphorus which is present in the animal body which is released through excreta this is the fecal matter the excreta which contains high amount of phosphorus for example birds excreta the guano which contains high amount of phosphorus so animal excreta which contains high amount of phosphorus and such phosphorus which released into soil by the process of decomposition in a form of फॉस्फेट आयन और फस और इन ए फॉर्म ऑफ फॉस्फरस सो दिस इज द डिफरेंट साइकिल और डिफरेंट मैथड्स बाय व्हिच फॉस्फरस एंटर इनटू एबायोटिक सिस्टम फ्रॉम द बायोटिक सिस्टम सो लेट्स सी दिस साइड सो वन मेथड थ्रू व्हिच फॉस्फरस व्हिच एंटर इनटू बायोटिक सिस्टम बाय द एब्जर्वेशन ऑफ फॉस्फेट आयन फ्रॉम सॉइल this is the one method by plants in case of c there there is the some of the evidence that the phosphate ion which is directly absorbed by sea animals in case of ocn so this is the one evidence or the one method by which directly phosphate enter into biotic system but there are several methods by which phosphate enter into or phosphate ion enter into abiotic system or the phosphate enter into abiotic system so by the decomposition of animal body the decomposition of animal body dead body or the decomposition of excreta which release inorganic phosphate into abiotic system the excreta of animal which also release phosphate directly to the soil the another method may be the combustion the combustion of forest wood or the grasses which releases phosphate into the abiotic system another method may be the sedimentation so the sedimentary rock which contains animal and the plant product or the plant bodies which contains phosphate and the last method may be from bone and teeth so the bone and teeth which contains very much amount of phosphorus so from bone and teeth the phosphorus is available in abiotic system so these are the 
four to five methods through which phosphorus enter into about a system. So thank you for watching.